welcome inside another episode of the Show of Park Crusaders pregame show. My name is Zach Marks. Please be bringing you this one from inside the Randy Rosen rink here in Sherwood Park, Alberta, where the Show of Park Crusaders are just finishing up their morning skate as they get set for game one of round one here in these 2023 AJHL postseason as they get set to take on the Fort McMurray Oil Barons. Now, this is a rematch of last season's first round. That saw Sherwood Park take a 1-0 lead in the series, an overtime win in Fort McMurray in game one before bowing out in five hard-fought games as the Crusaders look for revenge from last season's disappointing finish in the first round. But that being said, there's a massive shift in these circumstances compared to last season. Last year, Fort McMurray 81 points, second place in the North Division. Sherwood Park 55 down in seventh place. This season, Sherwood Park an 18-point improvement. There's now a 41-point shift in between these two groups as Sherwood Park owns home ice here in fourth place in the North Division compared to fifth place for the Oil Barons as these two teams get set to kick off the postseason here tonight. Now, of course, Sherwood Park did close out the regular season on a bit of a low note, back-to-back losses to the Spruce Grove Saints 7-1 and 7-0 scores to close out the regular season last weekend but optimism is high as they get set to go on what they hope to be a lengthy playoff run starting tonight against the Oil Barons a team that they knocked off five out of a possible six times in the regular season this year losing just the first matchup back in December at center fire place since then five straight wins for Sherwood Park a couple of overtime victories one in a shootout as well as they look to maintain the momentum they've had against the Oil Barons this season and carry that into game one here tonight now of course the playoffs are a different animal uh, entirely as you'll hear from head coach Evan McPheeters in the pregame interview but should expect a solid contest here tonight as the Show Park Arena tends to be nice and packed during the postseason as it will look to be the exact same here in game one. Tonight, 7 p.m. puck drop, but first, let's head to the pregame interview with head coach Evan McFeeders. Now he feels heading into this game tonight against the Oil Barons. Joined now on the Crusaders pregame show by head coach Evan McFeeders. Evan, the playoffs starting here tonight against the Fort McMurray Oil Barons. What are you expecting out of this first game here tonight? It's going to be playoff hockey, playoff atmosphere. Everything tightens up. We know that. Uh, it's going to be more of the one-on-one the -on -one battles and, and second efforts and the willingness and making sure we're uh, emotionally under control here. Our guys are excited to get going here. It's been a, a long process since, since the start of the year, and uh, this is where we want to get to. we got home ice in the first round. We've spoken at length over the course of the season about the youth of your team. What are you telling the rookies heading into their first AJHL playoff action here tonight? Well, that's why we play 60 in the year to get them prepared for this. Uh, we have routines put in place. We have... Uh, all of our preparations throughout the week is, is built up for when the puck drops they can just go uh, approach it as a normal hockey game what we've we've told them from from experience from the staff as well as the veteran guys in our room uh, is kind of the expectation of what it's going to take to win and it might be uh, it, one play might be the difference in the game it might be the first shift it might be the last shift uh, just to make sure we're, we're completely engaged for all 60 here uh, but I think our young guys are excited to make contributions tonight. Your opponents tonight, the former Memorial Barons, six games played against them in the regular season. I know we always talk about how the playoffs are a different animal, but how much do you take out of those matchups in the regular season? Well, you certainly take the information from the first six games against them and, uh, and how they play and, and what we've done well against them and vice versa, what they've done well against us. And uh, you put a plan in place and you think you got the best plan possible. But it, things always change in the first period in the, of the first game, so there's going to be adjustments all the way through. We understand it's going to be a long series. Um, we played six games against them this year two two of them going to overtime uh, we had to come back in a couple third periods against them five on five we're really tight tightly matched hockey club here so it should be a good tight series for the fans now for you yourself your first series as a head coach how do you feel heading into this one uh, to be honest Zach nothing really changes on my end I think I've uh, been in the league for eight years I've seen different matchups I've been in every position from first second all the way down to, to seventh leading into the playoffs here it's just getting the preparation uh, uh, dealt with uh, and making sure that we're efficient in delivering that and then making sure that our, our players are number one healthy and put in positions for success but uh, to answer your question for me personally nothing much changes other than um, the final decision maybe come down to me uh, but at the end of the day it's about the players going out there they're the, on, the guys on the ice they're the ones going to make the difference tonight. You mentioned your experience in the league helped lead the Brooks Bandits to not only an AJHL championship but a national championship last year. You've also got some experience in the room, Brennan Cooney, with the Edmonton Oil Kings last season. What does that bring to your group? Uh, some maturity and, and just understanding that there's going to be momentum shifts. Um, they're all big games here. It feels like you go to a, a national championship game, you prepare for a national championship game just like you do for game one of the start of the playoffs. 
uh, not just Brendan Cooney has been through it, but we got three 20 year olds that are here for a reason because they've had that experience. And Derek Pies led his team as a captain to a, a league championship last year in Ontario. And then Luke Monroe out in the Maritimes League had a nice run as a 19 year old last year. So those guys are going to be uh, not only lead by example, but they can also be a good voice in the dressing room here when uh, things go sideways for us, which we know it's going to happen. But we want to make sure we stay even keel. We've got a game plan in place and we've got to rely on those guys to make sure. Uh, that our, our ideal performance state always stays where it needs to be here. Uh, but we got some, some good young guys here that have played some hockey games that are really important to our team. So I think it's all season long, it's been contributions from everybody. All right, thanks for this coach. Good luck tonight. Thanks, Zach. And that'll do it for another episode of the show of Park Crusaders pregame show. Puck drop is 7 p.m. for game one right here at the Randy Rosen rink. You can get your tickets at tickets.showofparkcrusaders.ca. Prices are frozen at the regular season rates for this first round series. You can also grab your playoff packages, which will guarantee you tickets to every Crusaders home game. As the price gets low, the further we go. If you can't make it out, I will have the call on Hockey TV, 655 Mountain Time start for that as we get set for game one of the postseason here at the Randy Rosen Rink. For all of us in the Crusaders organization, we appreciate you tuning in. We will see you at Puck Drop.